Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. Gundla Brahmeshwaram Wildlife Sanctuary. Okay, so why is this sanctuary in news and what is its significance and what are all the important points that we have to study about this particular sanctuary? All these details, let us understand one by one. Okay. So, why is it in the news? Over 50 grass species were identified during a two-day workshop and survey on grasses identification and grassland management. That was the survey conducted and it was conducted at Gundla Brahmeshwaram Wildlife Sanctuary and this Gundla Sanctuary is a part of Nagarjuna Sagar Sri Sailam Tiger Reserve which is again important. Okay, so questions like this may be asked that this particular sanctuary is a part of which of the following tiger reserves or which of the following national parks. Okay, so this Gundla Brahmeshwaram Wildlife Sanctuary is a part of Nage, sorry, Hagarjuna Sagar Sri Sailam Tiger Reserve. Okay, and then the grass species that were identified include some of the rare findings like Oriza officinalis. Okay, so what is this Oriza officinalis? It is wild rice, and they have also found other grass species like wild ragi and wild maize also okay these were the important findings of this particular study and then this nagarjuna sagar tiger reserve comprises two sanctuaries so yet another factual information that is being added here okay so it contains two sanctuaries one is this rajiv gandhi wildlife sanctuary and then the next one is this gundla brahmeshwaram wildlife sanctuary which is our study now okay so it also includes rajiv gandhi wildlife sanctuary which must be remembered okay what else do we have to understand? We have to get into the details of what this sanctuary is. That study is done and they have found more than 50 species of grass. Okay. So that is the background. With that background, we have to understand what this wildlife sanctuary is. Where is it located? What are all the important flora and fauna found in this wildlife sanctuary? All these details we must have to understand. Let us see. So this sanctuary is located in the Nalamala forest. Okay important it is located in the Nalamala forest where is in which state in Andhra Pradesh okay important in Karnul district of Andhra Pradesh and then it is located between two hill passes what are they one is this Mantra Lama Kanuma and then Nandi Kanuma Kanuma here means passes okay like we say Ghat right Ghat means passes or in North India, like they call it La. La means process. Natula, Bomdila, Shipkila. Okay. So, all these are in North India. And Ghats is the term which is used in the Deccan part. Okay. Ghats, Western Ghats, Pal Ghat, Bor Ghat, Harichandra Ghat. Okay. Similarly, we also have this name Kanuma in the state of Andhra Pradesh. That is, one is this Mantra Lama Kanuma and then Nandi Kanuma. Between these two passes, this particular wildlife sanctuary is located. And then the northern part of the sanctuary is an important part of this tiger reserve. That is Nagarjuna Sagar Sri Sailam Tiger Reserve. Northern part, that is also important. And then there is one river inside this sanctuary, which flows through this sanctuary. That is Gundla Kamma River. Okay. So, the name is repeating here. Okay. It is Gundla Kamma, sorry, Gundla Bhameshwaram wildlife sanctuary and the name of the river here is Gundla Kamma river okay all these details we must have to know because questions like this are being asked okay so if they ask you about a particular protected area say a wildlife sanctuary or national park or biosphere reserve or whatever it is they are also asking its locational features and the rivers which are flowing through it what are all the flora and fauna present in that particular protected area all these details we must have to understand okay so what else should we see this sanctuary was declared in the year 1990 okay and then this sanctuary got its name from gundla brahmeshwaram plateau so from that plateau only it has got its name so since it lies in the deccan plateau region there are many different plateaus in the deccan plateau region itself like bangalore plateau telangana plateau okay Likewise, this Gundla Brahmeshwaram plateau is also a small, small plateau area. Okay. Next is what are all the flora and fauna found here? It is, it contains 353 species of plants, which includes 10 critically endangered species also. Okay. Which is very important. And then 
There are also many mammals found here in this sanctuary. It includes langurs, panthers, tigers, rats, rusty spotted cat, Indian flying squirrel, okay, and then lesser huli, horseshoe bat, mouse deer, pangolin, samba deer, nilgai, bonnet macaque. So these are all the important heterotrophs or mammal varieties found in this particular wildlife sanctuary. So these details we must have to understand with respect to this sanctuary. <clears throat> the topic that we are going to discuss now is Pancoreus sebastiani. Okay, so what is this Pancoreus sebastiani? It is actually a new species of jumping spider. Where have they found this or where have they identified this? Let us understand the details. So a new species of jumping spider that is Pancoreus sebastiani which is named after a spider taxonomist who is no more. Okay, he is a late spider taxonomist. His name is P.A. Sebastian. Okay, so this spider has been named after him. And this was discovered in Shendurne, Shendurne Wildlife Sanctuary. Okay, so we must have to understand about yet another wildlife sanctuary also here, Shendurne Wildlife Sanctuary. Okay, so this new species which belongs to Asian jumping spider and it belongs to the genus Pancoreus. Okay, that is why its name also includes Pancoreus, genus name and then species name. That is how they are named, right? And then it belongs to a family called Salticidae important okay and then this pancoreus genus is primarily distributed in southeast asia very important locational feature okay so it in it is distributed in southeast asian countries and then its distribution was earlier limited to east and northeastern regions of india only but then now it has been found in the south also that is why it is in the news earlier it was found in east and northeastern parts of india only okay so if we say east then it includes states like odisha west bengal bihar and other things okay and also the northeast areas okay so it is now found in the southern region also that is why we are giving importance to this particular topic because it is found in the shendure wildlife sanctuary of kerala okay next so an analysis of this salty city species in the country shows that only two states, which are the two states, West Bengal and Tamil Nadu have reported the highest number of this species, okay, while the others including the harboring biodiversity hotspot, that is the Western Ghats and even the Northeastern region, which are also biodiversity hotspots because they are having evergreen forest there, wherever you find evergreen forest, tropical evergreen forest, then there will be highest biodiversity there, okay. So, even in those areas, this spider is few in number, whereas in other two states, that is West Bengal and Tamil Nadu, which are not a biodiversity hotspot when compared to West Beng uh, sorry, Western Ghats or this northeastern states, they are having highest number of these spiders, okay, which must be understood. Next, we have to get into the details of this wildlife sanctuary, that is Shendurne Wildlife Sanctuary. So, it is a protected area in the Western Ghats region located in the Kollam district of Kerala and then it comes under the control of Agastya Malai Biosphere Reserve, okay. Statements like these are very, very important with respect to, I mean, for your exams, okay. And then it was established in the year 1984. So, this sanctuary is a part of bio, sorry, Agastya Malai Biosphere Reserves. There are 18 biosphere reserves in India and this is one among them, okay. And this Agastya Malay is actually in the border of Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Next is, the name of this sanctuary is actually a corruption of the name Sengurunji, okay, which is a tree which is endemic to this region, this Western Ghats region, okay. So, from the name Sengurunji only, this Chendurne has evolved over time, okay. And then this sanctuary has an artificial lake important and it is also surrounded by reservoir that is Tenmalai Dam, okay. So, this artificial lake kind of question was also asked previously in UPSC, okay. They asked whether Kodaikanal was an artificial lake or not. I mean, the question was like this, which of the following is an artificial lake and the options were given and one of the options were Kodaikanal Lake or 
Tamil Nadu. Okay. So even here we have an artificial lake inside this uh, wildlife sanctuary and then this wildlife sanctuary is a treasure house of plant diversity. See how many plant species are here. 1,257 species of flowering plants belonging to more than 150 families are reported from this sanctuary of which of this 1,257, 309 species are endemic to Western Ghats which means they are found only in Western Ghats and nowhere else in the world, okay. That is the term endemic means, okay. So 309 species are, are found to be endemic to Western Ghats and then bird species are also found here nearly 267 species of birds are found here which includes migratory species, endemic species and endangered species. So when all these varieties of species are found, it is a biodiversity hotspot for sure and conservation efforts are needed. Okay. So this is what we need to know about this Chendurne wildlife sanctuary and the spider species that was found. Here. Next is tropical evergreen and semi evergreen forest is also found here. So it covers the major area of this particular forest. Okay. So it includes tropical evergreen and semi evergreen forest. So evergreen forest is found in this particular wildlife sanctuary and it has a presence of lion tailed macaque which is an endangered species. More number of lion tailed macaque is there. And then this is very important, a brood of highly elusive nocturnal forest bird. The forest bird here is great eared night jar. Okay. Why is it called great eared night jar? I mean, this was spotted for the first time in this sanctuary in South India. Okay. I mean, in the state of Kerala. Okay. Earlier it was found in Tamil Nadu region, but then it was found for the first time in Kerala in this particular sanctuary. And why is it called great eared night jar? Because it has two erect ear like tufts of feathers which is behind its eye okay on its head okay so that is why it is called as great eared night jar it is a bird okay next the first ecotourism project in india was in this wildlife sanctuary only that project is called as tenmala eco e ecotourism project okay and that is formulated in and around this wildlife sanctuary Another important aspects of this sanctuary is that there is no sandalwood trees in this sanctuary which is, which is again important, okay. It is a tropical evergreen and semi evergreen forest and there is no sandalwood found in this sanctuary, okay. So all these details we must have to understand. From